Okay, next we have uh, information technology upgrade. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Chair, how many more do we have? Just uh, four more pages. <laughs> no, but how many more? Do we have like ten more? Or? Uh, we can make it. We can make it. No, I'm, it's just that I have to go. Then, then go to the bathroom. 46. Just go back to seven. I can't wait. 47. All right, what, what is disturbing to me about this, first on its face, is it's from the unassigned fund balance. Why? Yeah. Because uh, it produces that no tax impact, which everyone will basically do a no-brainer and vote yes right. for because it says no, no tax impact. And I don't have a, sorry, a problem with that when it's something we really need. But I don't see anything like the fire protected here. Yeah. We really need. This, I don't see a really need this kind of thing. It ought to stand on its own with its own tax impact. Um, and it's also broadly stated. I mean, it's covered everything in town. I mean, oh, we're going to buy a bunch of hardware and software and services. And you name a department, big or small, it's on this list. So it's like completely vague. So any discussion, Ms. Regina? I just wanted to make a comment, actually, because I realized I've had to, uh, for personal reasons, hulk up a lot of my security. Uh, so, and I have McAfee giving my, you know, daily things on my phone and stuff like that. And in here tonight, this is, and I noticed, which I haven't had a chance to ask the town hall yet because I didn't realize it till later this afternoon, that I make sure now that with the McAfee that every site I go on to has that M there. And the town website, and it just got a notice on my phone that this, the Board of Selectmen public network is not secure. Mm. And uh, good. so I think that, um, I don't know if all this, I think maybe if we get some clarification on what it will consist of, but I think that we definitely need to make sure that we're at least upgraded enough that our system is safe. Um, Personally, I have had a lot of issues I've had to deal with in the past month as far as uh, cyber fraud. So I'm not sure exactly where it came from, but I've been able to settle it. And I've had to hug up a lot of my security because of it. But I think that we do need to make sure that the town's, everything in this town is protected the way it should be. So I'm not sure if this is exactly going to do that. I'm not an IT person whatsoever. But in my recent experience, I've noticed that this town of Hampton website is not McAfee checked or whatever it's called. It's not up to McAfee standards and all the other sites that I go on, I make sure are now since that has happened to me. So I think the town website does definitely need to get addressed at some point fairly soon. So. Well, if I may comment, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of McAfee standards, although it's better than no standard at all, that's for sure. I have a problem in the information technology space in general in this town, especially when you consider that we spent some, some money just a few years ago on what was called an IT audit. We had an independent guy come in here, uh, he, he interviewed you know, all the department heads and other personnel in terms of their information technology needs and how they were or were not being met. And I saw it as you know, a, basically a major failing grade that this town got. And some of the major, in fact, the IT budget committee, on the, uh, the IT subcommittee of this budget committee did a report on that, as you may recall, two years ago, and highlighted some of the major points that were made there, and I don't see that any of them have been addressed. We were addressing other things that weren't even, even, even discussed, uh, certainly not emphasized at all in the IT audit report, which clearly indicates that we have a problem in terms of leadership in that area. Which, of course, by the way, IT leadership, information technology leadership, was the number one thing the audit report cited as our major failing. And we continue to not only not address it, but we continue to demonstrate it. So I have a whole problem with this space entirely because we're not addressing what has been clearly stated as our problems. And I think that uh, <coughs> a lot could be done for a small amount of money if we actually had some, kind of like a punch list of the most important things to do, figure out the best way to do them, and then do them. But we're not doing any of that. We're not kind of like a plan. Yeah, kind of like a plan. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I'm not talking about a plan to make a plan. I'm talking about a plan <laughs> to do it, to work. Yeah. So, well, we've already got a plan to make a plan. That's called the IT audit report. We don't need to plan for a plan any more than that. You're saying we're not pre-planning? We're, we're not doing well. We're not well. We're just woefully deficient in this space in general. But what I'm hearing from Regina, and certainly from me, is I need I need uh, this to be spoken to in greater depth. And so we're not going to vote on this now. Well, Any we'll other vote. discussion points? I just want to make an Go excellent ahead. point. That was one of my two points. I wholeheartedly agree with what you just said. But the other part, I absolutely agree too. We can't keep using these unassigned fund balance for things like this. Seventy-one thousand dollars. We we've got to. That if it, if we've all just agreed, this is an important aspect of what we do in town. This should be a budgeted item. So I'm gonna. We'll talk about more of that later. Okay. We get. So we're on the next one, article. Yeah. 